heart racing, palm sweaty, knees shaking. That's what it felt like being trapped alone in the dark in the shed at my grandmother's house. Have you ever heard chains rattle in the dark and knew the chains were nailed to the wall and on top of that you knew you were alone and there was no one there to rattle those chains? No one ever once told me that ghosts were real because that night I figured it all out for myself. It's 84 degrees outside of Mississippi. But in that shed, it's 50 degrees with a cold breeze on the back of my neck. Picture the scene, standing there, my mind racing. Why won't this door open? I came out here just to get some pork chops out of the freezer. And why my grandmother needed to thaw out pork chops overnight when she wasn't planning to cook them until dinner the following day, only God knows. Why this door won't open, only God knows. But I'm standing there holding these frozen pork chops in my hand. My shoulder in full weight pressed against the door and it won't open. So I bump it again and again. It shakes but won't open. There are a couple of things that I was absolutely certain of in this moment. One of them was that there's no latch to lock the door from the outside. The only latch is in the inside and it was unlocked. But the door won't budge. Then the chains rattle again. Cold breeze brushes against your neck. Turning around, it's dark pitch black dark so now I'm headed back to the freezer to open the door to get some type of light and when I open that door the light illuminates outward and to the left of the freezer is this black silhouette the poke chops hit the floor the chains rattled again understand I'm 13 years old at the time played football offensive lineman so now I run full speed at the door like I'm trying to tackle somebody and just as I drop my shoulder to hit that door, it swings open. I stumble forward into the grass. And that's when I hear this growling coming from inside of the shed. Now I'm racing through the darkness, back to the house, dodging the swing set. And I hear that door slam shut. Running up the stairs into the washroom, my oldest cousin is there and he grabs me. And I must have had a look on my face like I was afraid that I was going to die. Because this is the same cousin that used to practice body slamming me all day long he says whoa 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 what's going on and I tell him that there's something in the shed listen to me and understand as I'm standing there talking to him I'm sweating heart pounding and I'm scared out of my mind and the only thing he says is was it a shadow I'm like yes that's exactly what it was it's a shadow and that's when my cousin tells me that you can't be afraid of it because it feeds off your fear we have to go back and so he takes me back outside to the shed. And as we are approaching that shed, you can hear the chains rattling inside. Listen, at that point in time, I always thought of my cousin as kind of a bully. Mainly because he and I never found ourselves in any situation where he had the opportunity to stick up for me. But he walks up to that door, opens it, and says, Listen, we need to get some food, so stop all of that damn noise and leave my little cousin alone and as the word alone comes out of his mouth that growling sound pours out of the door and i watch as he walks into that shed the freezer door still open, light spilling out of it making it seem even more terrifying than it was being in there in the dark that's when he turns around looks at me and says come in here and get this damn food and as i walk through that door the chains rattle again the hair stand up on the back of my neck and he starts screaming at me if you are afraid of it it will follow you home get the food so we can get out of here so i walk over pick up the poke chops off the ground and the rattling stops then we turn and leave later that night he explains to me that every male in our family has encountered this same shadow man and those who have shown fear were tormented until they stopped being afraid and that it all started with my great grandfather who was in jail. Okay, now you know Dark Waters is not about to give it all away for free. Want the rest of this story? Go to IamDarkWaters.com and become a member today. Only $4.99 per month gives you access to his library of true horror stories. Become a member today. Go to IamDarkWaters.com and become a member today. Only $4.99 per month gives you access to his library of true horror stories. Become a member today.